Hey guys, so I got a couple new things uh, shipped to me recently. Uh, one of which is uh, actually this light strip, which I'm promoting on my site as well uh, for uh, I think it's $7.99 or something like that currently. Um, so if you guys want to check that out, you can. All right, so this is a, I have no idea how to pronounce the company name. I'm not even going to try. It's a light strip, but what caught my interest is that it has a music mode as well as an app to control it. I will eventually be able to show you that. I don't know about the app end of it because I use my phone to record a lot of these things. Uh, so I want to do dive into the box before I start plugging things in and checking out things. So I figured I would show you what's in the box. So we have our, what looks like our main connector here, our power supply. We have our power brick, which is a 20, oh, what is that, 12 watt, 24 volt power plug. What looks like some type of mounting brackets to hold the LEDs in place because you can mount this to the back of a TV, you can mount it to a wall. You have your standard remote control here with the different colors, different modes. You can flash, strobe, smooth. Um, I don't know how the music mode is going to work yet. That's what I'm curious about, but that's what the manual is for. We'll get to the product in a minute. This is model STRGB-10M. Uh, let's see. We can actually cut this up to different lengths as well, and it will still function properly. You just have to re-solder everything back together again. Uh, let's see here. We have a barcode to... Uh, not a barcode, a... What are those th stupid things called? The things you scan, and it brings up your the app, and you can install the app. Then you can connect to this. Gives you instructions how the app works. So, uh, all right, so that's a general interface here. You know. Now let's see what the actual LEDs look like, quality-wise, because some of these are very, very thin, poorly made. Let's see. Ooh, all right, this one is an actual exposed LED. They're not within a uh, casing from the looks of it. Move the sticker here. I'm just going to pull that back. So we have standard LEDs. I am going to plug these in at some junction so we can take a look at them. Just not right now. It's probably going to be a part two. All right. So these are exposed LEDs, which isn't bad. They do label the 24 volt line. So that's good. So I should be able to mix this with my other unit that I have in the room. I'm thinking about maybe connecting these around my guinea pig cage so that he has a little nightlight. There's one thing about these as well, if I read correctly on the listing itself, I will verify it somewhere in here. Do, 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 do. This is the, there we go. Let's see. Timer. Yes, there's a timer you can set on this. Uh, apparently it's all through the app, so I'll have to sync up the app so that'll work and all that jazz. Um, where you can set the colors, you can set the timer of how long, you can set, tell it to be, you know, noise sensitive. So, all right. Um, so the next video, this was just what's in the box. Here's what's in the box. You get your remote, you get your instruction manual, you get your disc. This is 32 feet, roughly. I think it was, was it 30, 32 feet, 32 why am I having such a brain fart? I think it's 32 feet or something like that. Um, worth of LEDs. So that'll be it for now. Uh, the next video will be me connecting this up to power supply so we can see the pretty colors. So I will see you in part two. Enjoy.